All right, tis the season to stir up some cocktails. Whether you're having a large batch or a small intimate gathering, you are in luck. We've got world-renowned mixologist, uh, president of the United States Bartenders Guild, and one of Food and Wine Magazine's top 10 rising star mixologists. We're talking to Pamela Wisnitzer this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to see you this morning. Thank you for having me. Good to see you as well. So you are stirring up some fun this morning. What do you want to start with? Yeah, so uh, St. Patrick's Day is here and so many ways to enjoy the day. And I think we all are used to like green beer, Guinness and shots. But I tell people there's a way to have sophisticated libations and using high quality ingredients to really enjoy that day as it's a long day of celebrations and it's a marathon not a sprint. <laughs> um, so we're making a few cocktails today with Kerrygold Irish Cream Liqueur coming straight from Ireland. Top quality ingredient uh, using three things in the bottle. One, award-winning dairy from grass-fed cows. Number two, real chocolate. I'm a chocolate lover. I don't know about you. Yes. But I love me some chocolate. <laughs> yes. So we got chocolate in this bottle. Yes, yes. And we also have um, Irish whiskey that's aged a minimum of three years in a cask. So we're already starting with something really fantastic as the foundation of this cocktail. Um, so we've made two different drinks, both really easy to replicate at home. The first one over here is called the Celtic Sipper, um, and it's using two ounces of aged rum, an ounce and a half of coconut water, and an ounce and a half of Kerrygold Irish Cream Liqueur. We're finishing it off after shaking it with a little bit of toast coconut on top so you can toast that on your stovetop or in the oven or if you got one of those creme brulee torches you can just get going at home with that and really make things all fancy for everyone right yes so some people have shakers I'm glad you have one some people don't and so I like to say a nice tip is that you can actually use a mason jar or you can use a to-go container for like soup uh, that you may have at home to shake a cocktail which is really nice so we're gonna shake this lightly not for too long all right and then we're going to take a highball glass like I have here with some ice. And we're going to strain out the contents of this drink. It smells really good. <laughs> <laughs> into the glass. Into the glass. And then we're going to finish it off first. Uh, we're going to use a sustainable straw. So this is a reusable straw with hard plastic. So we're not throwing anything away. And we're being good to our earth. Uh, second, we're going to use a nice orange wedge to amplify the orange infusion. Also, it's really fun to eat alongside this drink. And then some chocolate shavings, right? Because we got a nice chocolate in that drink. I think we need more as well. And that's going to be this drink. You can never have enough chocolate. And you can, um, you can find... Yeah, you don't have enough chocolate, right? <laughs> but you can find this recipe and more at um, KerrygoldIrishCream.com or you can follow um, Instagram and you can go to at KerrygoldIrishCream for this recipe, more videos, pictures. Thank you so much, Pamela. Great to have you on world-renowned mixologist Pamela Wisnitzer. You can head to our website Thank for you. more on mixing up those drinks at fox4morningblend.com.